Hmm. <laughs> okay, you saw a mass of roots similar to this sign thing, but in the other tunnel. I'm wondering if that's connected somehow, guys. We can probably go look. Well, we also know this thing's evolving and getting stronger every second, and it has intent to attack. Why don't we take just a kill it now? Before, yeah, before it gets worse. All right. Buckthorn. Buckthorn. <laughs> Charge. Um, I don't know. There's that big guy over to the right. Should That's who you're charging. Go That's charge who we're on. talking about. Charge oh, the big guy. We're not talking about the thing up there. No. no this the thing. Goat's, the, the goat's gone. It's just, it's gonna explore a little more for us. <laughs> All right. All right. I'm going to charge it with nothing because I'm going to walk up <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to hit it with my grappling strike. Do it. I'm going to grab those vines. Grab those vines. Yeah, try to stay away from the, the north where the crazy... Um, plant thing is. I want to meet gonna that gonna... dad. <laughs> I want to meet that dad. No. I want to meet that slime. I think about your bear. Damn. Oh, <laughs> nice. Buckthorn, you crack into one of the hardened pieces of armor, and the creature shrieks violently, sending shockwaves of slime all over its entire body. Roll damage. Nine damage. And everyone else, roll initiative. And he is grabbed and marked. <laughs> Very nice. Twenty-nine. I'm a little baby again. Eighteen. Um. Bip. 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 Rolling initiative. For everybody. Oh, we can actually add ours, ours in there. We'll write yeah. our own on there. Yeah, yeah. yeah, everybody can just add their own. I'm eighteen now. Barely. <laughs> Erect a barricade. Uh, a barricade. <laughs> yeah. you, okay, you, you missed it earlier, but we were making puns about bears while you weren't here. And then we ended up making uh, puns about Luke's last name, Gamble, and then we kept going with all the other ones, and basically we, we just made puns and started talking about orangutan penises the whole time you were gone. It's pretty good. That is 100% exactly what happens. You missed out on good stuff. Damn. And we all danced to Platinum Disco. It was pretty good. It's true. It's a, that's the thing that happened. All right. Buckthorn rushes forward, grabbing the Shoggoth. It recoils instinctively and lashes out with many tentacles. Um, Buckthorn, any other actions? No. Quinn, it is your turn. All right. Excellent. All right. So first, I am going to... Um, Use my fiery serpent movement. I get to shift up to half my speed. Just up to it though. Um, that gives me a plus two to fire damage. And so I hit it with my fiery serpent attack. Quinn lashes aft with a fiery blast of key energy. Um, versus reflex. 23 versus reflex. Uh, it easily dodges. Um, with a twist of its body, it dodges out of the way, unfortunately. The low roll. Um, alright, well if I miss... Are there, are there any enemies... There aren't any enemies within five squares of me, are there? Uh, there are. You can't see them, though. <laughs> oh, well... Because it has a miss action. If I miss, one enemy within five squares of me takes 1d8 fire damage. Yeah, ah. you still can't... Well, it, it, it's normally that you can't target them if you can't see them, so usually the secondary effects don't happen. Okay. But, um, what about... Can I do it on vines? Uh, yeah, sure. Um, you notice that you scorch off one vine, and then another one... Actually, this one just grows right back from the same vine. Like, okay. it peels away the, uh, the burnt flesh and continues growing. All right, well... Since my fiery serpent uh, movement is actually was shifting, okay, use my movement to actually move around it. 
Uh, I, I, so be careful about that. If you move too many squares, you'll get an opportunity attack. Unless you have another shift. Um, I'll just stay where I am then. Okay. Uh, Vod, it's your turn. Um, let me move a couple spaces behind Gwyn here. And, so um... <clears throat> get out a spike chain. And courageous strike. 23 versus AC. Uh, that is a miss, unfortunately. Low roll, guys. I'm done. Come uh, on, guys. Don't make me do everything. <laughs> <laughs> um, at this point, you notice that the small creatures are moving to the outside of the Ring of Light. So you have some creatures moving in. Dang, um, got me a Thunderdome going on here. Yeah. <laughs> Does anyone have any alcohol left? Yes, yeah, always. All right, maybe we can throw some alcohol and light it on fire for like a distraction from the other creatures. You know, it would be extra helpful for that. What? Is if I knew I was carrying like motor oil and gasoline instead of poison. Oh wow. Oh well. All right, the proto shoggoth lashes out in anger. Um, first thing it's going to do is try to escape Buckthorn's grab. Miss. Uh, probably, actually. Uh, it's probably going to roll versus reflex. 14 versus reflex. Miss. Miss. It is grabbed by you. It's already yeah. been grabbed by him. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's still grabbed by him. All right. Um, Quinn, Vod, and Buckthorn, you begin to hear horrifying whispering at the back of your head as the proto shoggoth makes three whispering madness attacks. Oh god, this is going to target Will. It hits. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Me too, man. Well, Me too. hey, Buckthorn, fun story. Uh, he critically failed on your roll. So, uh, versus Quinn, that's going to be 23 versus Will. Versus Will? Um, it beats it, but because of my befouled mind, from my Paragon Pass, mm -hmm. when, an when an enemy attacks my will, it takes psychic damage equal to my dexterity or strength modifier. That's pretty sweet. That's and awesome. And so it's going to take five damage, five psychic damage. All right, the uh, the creature gets a little bit of psychic feedback from Quinn. Play out my mind, bitch! It's, it's like inside <laughs> your mind is so scary to even enemies. That just <laughs> oh, exactly. No. exactly no. what it is. So, uh... But my will is 21, so it still hits. Yeah. Oh god, Linkin Park is always playing in there? <laughs> Constantly. Alright, uh... It's what gives me my rage. <laughs> <laughs> it puts me one step closer to the edge. Oh my god. Alright, Vod and Quinn, you are taking an ongoing psychic damage, and you get the impression that standing next to the creature is only making the whispering in your mind worse. Um, it's also going to use its standard action. It's going to lash out at Buckthorn with a aptly called Merciless Lashing. Oh, one is a total miss, but the other is a crit. Miss. Buckthorn, you take 22 damage. As an immediate interrupts, he's going to gain 8 and resist 8, so 16 altogether. Yeah. For energy uh -huh. convers conversion. All right, Reeve, it's your turn. All right, I'm gonna move on up to uh, next to Buckthorn, and I want to be like pretty good grab. Thank you. And I want to also make a grab, <laughs> and then just run in opposite directions. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna re-roll that. I'm as as I go to use my creepy arms, my creepy arm attack. By the way, uh, I'm gonna look at the bracer on my arm and get inspiration from my coachers of second chances. <laughs> Probably a good idea. I foresee a fuck up. And roll a 32 <laughs> against uh, reflex. I think it is. That is a hit. And just wanted to make sure. Yes, it's also reflex. Okay, and it'll be. A creepy arm amount of damage, and it goes damage. prone. Okay. And it's grabbed by me. All right. It's double grabbed. Double grabbed. We're just like 
holding on to two of his tentacles and just like staring at each other like <laughs> all right Cameron it's your turn <laughs> the strange or ooze like creatures stare at you from the uh circumference of oh, your Oh I also have a uh, uh, light, light rod on me uh, whatever I don't know if you have one centered on me I see one on Quinn and one next to Oh Cameron. no I I didn't um here I'll I'll make a third one I figured that one to my right is going to be a little more angry now. Alright, let's see here. It is controlled by Reeve. Mwahaha. Okay. Right. I don't know how to control it. Cameron, your turn. So I'm going to stay here because they're not coming any closer. Yes. Like they are. Are they? Oh, shit. It looks like they are slowly adjusting. All right, well, I want to take care of the big one first. I'll do <clears throat> Ethereal Chill Focus on Buckthorn. Okay. Oh, so 19 <laughs> versus Reflex on the um, the big guy. No, it doesn't hit. They, oh. You're not you're not using. Okay, there's something you shouldn't be rolling plus 13. It's got to be like plus 15 or something. It's. You're missing something. You have to be. What, what does that attack use? Does it use a, a rod? My crossbow. What does it say in the weapon description, in the attack description? Does it say weapon or an implement? It says... Um... Implement. Okay. But I took, Even then, that's low. Took, I took a thing where... It's like a cat... Uh, yeah, crossbow yeah, cr caster crossbow stuff. caster, right, right. Um... It, what, what's, your, what's your primary stat? And what's it? What's it use? Does it use the intellect? Intelligence versus reflex. Yeah, yeah, that's. Do you have the crossbow expertise thing? Yeah. That doesn't make sense at all, then. Yeah, we we should look at your character sheet because thirteen seems way too low. Anyway, uh, that's a miss, Amron. Okay. Um. All right, that's that's all I can do. Sorry, all right. guys. Buckthorn, like a million, like a billion, it's your turn. Yeah, that's a thousand times more. It's true. Uh, I'm going to shift over that way. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to use Diabolic Stratagem on the big dude. Okay. That's versus Snap! Reflex. Does it hit if it's yeah. versus Reflex? Y yes, Buckthorn, I think you got it. I think you nailed it, buddy. Oh, man, you guys are going to love this. I get a crit just, modifier this time. Just don't move him away from me or me away from him. You're, I don't think your shields get a crit modifier, though. They do. They do, okay. It's going to be 15 plus 6. <laughs> All right, wow, so that's a pretty hard. terrible roll. That was good. That was good there. All right. So Those are D12s, and you got a six total. <laughs> so it's 21 damage, and I grant combat advantage to him. <laughs> and, this plan is great. Hey, if he attacks me by the end of my next turn, all of my allies get an opportunity attack. Oh, snap. And then I am going to use... You're too dumb to figure that out. ...that thing. Daring shout, so him and the guy above me are marked, and I gain three temporary hit points. Nice. Uh, is your grab? Did you sustain that or what? No. Okay, but you still grab by Reef. All right. Yeah. All right. Uh, any other actions, Buckthorn? Nope. All but right. More, more importantly, since uh, Rage actually grabbed him first. I got to trigger my prone on my first grab without having to go through like two turns of nonsense. So that very, was great. Very, very good, Reeve. All right. Um, <laughs> the, uh, the little shoglings are edging ever closer, Amrin. This guy should uh, Buckthorn. What? You got a bite attack coming at you. Actually, uh, sorry, a shadow tendril attack coming at you from the uh, little shogling up next to you. That is 32 versus AC. Um, does that include the prone minus thing? See, that's not the guy attacking you. Oh. It's, it's this little guy. Well, okay. then he hits me. Eight damage. Damn. 
you also notice that your mind feels like it's. What? That's not. Your, <laughs> your mind feels like it's racing while this tiny little shoggling is next to you. Um, you grant combat advantage while you are standing adjacent to a shoggling as it distracts you with its gross little squiddiness. Ha, ah, joke's on him. I already give him combat advantage. <laughs> <laughs> joke's on him. Uh, Quinn, it's your turn. Take five psychic damage. Okay. Um, is there a save well, for that? At the end of your turn, yes. Well, okay. well, well, one thing I want to point out before uh, Quinn takes his turn. Yep. Uh, Kevin, so so one thing monks are really good at, in particular, because they have that flurry of blows thing, where you hit something and you get to hit something else near you. Yep. Uh, monks are like one of the best AOE classes, like melee AOE classes. So usually if there's a lot of things, monks are excellent at killing all the adds. So I'm just, just throwing it out there for you if you want to. No, I know. I have things that do uh, damage other targets and whatnot. Yeah. yeah, you got tons of them, I think. Yeah, usually they have to be a little bit closer, but yeah, no, it's coming. It's coming. The pain. Da, 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 da. The pain is coming. It is your turn, Quinn. Yes. So I am just going to hit it with my resounding strike. Um, this is versus fortitude. 29 versus fortitude. That is a hit, my good sir. You easily hit the gelatinous mass who has very little fortitude to speak of. Oh, that's uh, to note. So it takes 14 damage, and the next time the target takes damage before the start of my next turn, it takes an extra thunder damage of 6. Thunder. Okay. And <laughs> I'll also hit it, obviously, with my Flurry of Blows. Which is an additional... Um, And it takes uh, six, another six damage. Okay. Very good. Um, ba -ba 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 -da. Anything else, Quinn? Movements? Miners? Um, I... Saves? Saves. Yeah. Also saves. important. Um, uh, yeah, just my save. So... What do I roll? Just a d20? Just a d20. Yeah, okay. 11. You are fine now. Yes. At least until he afflicts it again. And he'll take more psychic damage from the Lincoln Park in my head. Wait, why, why is that? <laughs> just any time an enemy attacks my will. He didn't attack your will again. Well, oh, 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 you're saying next time it happens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yes, yes. <clears throat> more Lincoln Park damage. Uh, Vod, it's your turn. Uh, I will take five damage. Uh, mm -hmm. let's see. Oh. Uh, hang on just a second. Um, I'll turn to focus my attention on this little guy down here. <laughs> I will, uh, look into where I assume maybe there's a brain somewhere and do a dark beckoning on him. Uh, 24 versus Will. So dark. Yeah, yeah, you got him. Okay. Uh, 20 damage, and I will pull him up to three squares. So, all right, never mind. Yeah. <laughs> I'll watch as he explodes. <laughs> you basically mi microwave it, its tiny little neural system, and it just pops. <laughs> and then I will make a save for the psychic damage stuff that's happening. Yes, you save. All right, it is the Shoggoth's turn, who is immediately going to make another gibbering madness attack on everyone around him. Uh, Buckthorn, that's a hit. Reeve, maybe. <laughs> it's Will. It's going to hit me. Okay. Wait, let's, let's see what it is. Uh, 24 versus Will. Yeah, it totally hits. <laughs> and then uh, 24 versus Will on Quinn, and then, like, stupid high rolls for Buckthorn and uh, Vod. All right. Take five points of Lincoln Park damage. Yeah, yeah. He takes five Lincoln Parks. All right. Everyone gets an opportunity attack against him. He oh. may be attack against you too. Within melee range, though. Uh, no, if Diabolic Stratagem says if he makes an attack against me, everyone oh. gets an opportunity attack. Oh, that's awesome. cool. Um, that is true. And you know what's awesome? 
because of my I have a feat, initial uh, internalized basic kata, I get to use my flurry of blows even after an opportunity attack. That is true. That is true. You get opportunity attack flurries, which is pretty awesome. That's an awesome feat. I was very happy to get that. Um, I'm gonna use I'm gonna use uh, heroic effort to give that plus four and see if it hits. <laughs> Just barely. Awesome. Right. So Reeve hits, Buckthorn hits, Vod hits, Quinn. Right. Go ahead. And... Um, at the world beat AC still, right? Yeah. What was the extra D twenty for Buckthorn? What? Uh, oh, you rolled what? fourteen and then a one. That, that's the wrong thing. I wanted a D eight plus seven. Oh, okay. Well, then roll that. Oh, uh, yeah, I'll get another chance. Quinn, that is a miss, unfortunately. Fucking A. What the f- <laughs> what do you roll the four? Eight, Eight damage as the spike chain lashes right. at him. It was still 22. My, mine does ten damage and three fire damage. All right. You all lay into him with a flurry of coordinated effort. Um, how much damage does that total? Looks like 22. 22 damage total. Wow, that was terrible, guys. <laughs> we did it. It recoils in pain, though. Um, now it's going to continue. Actually, it's going to try to escape what? the trap. Is the captain not making an attack? Oh, I didn't realize she got one. M- me um, and all of my allies. What? Make an attack. <laughs> it's got to be. It's an opportunity attack, so it's got to be like your range basic or whatever. Oh Jesus. Um. Better than nothing. Chain. I mean. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So. Ugh. Here we go, everyone. <laughs> Boom! Headshot. <laughs> Just barely misses. It it bounces off one of the remaining uh, shards of armor on top action of you. <laughs> <laughs> Don't waste an action point on this shit. Even have one. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, it's gonna try to escape your grab, Reeve. It has to roll versus Fortitude, right? Correct. Uh, 25 versus Fort. Not even close. Pretty sure that's kind of close. My Fortitude's 26, man. That's Then that's very close. It's not even close. <laughs> All right. Um, okay. It is, well, then... In oh, that... actually, it's higher than that. I forgot I did this, this builder doesn't add it in. It, this is the one where you can't stand up until he escapes, right? Yep, uh, okay. all my grabs are down. Oh, okay, just, just making sure. All right, yeah. he is going to lash out at Buckthorn again. Uh-oh. Uh, but he gets minus two because he's prone. Oh, it may not matter. Um, I still ran a combat advantage, though. Oh. Uh, <laughs> you just oh, want him to Buckthorn. hit you. <laughs> uh, actually, this one still might miss you. 30 versus AC? Miss. All right, 39 versus AC? It hit, like, <laughs> half damage. <laughs> uh, no, uh, twenty damage. Uh-oh. Looking out on not on both of these not hitting you though. All right. Um, I want to do an immediate interrupt. Shocking feedback. He <laughs> got hit and got damage dealt to him. <laughs> if I can, let's see. Did it go? Oh, about it, that. It did. It did not. It did. It, did oh, it technically went. <laughs> How about that action point, huh? I used it! Them. Ooh, that's... That's <laughs> mighty painful. Roll the damage versus Buckthorn. <laughs> oh, I'm no. so sorry, Buckthorn! I'm so sorry. This is a good thing. I don't think it is. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> why, was it, why was it that much damage? <laughs> it was just an immediate interrupt, and it's... It's 2d6 plus 8 plus 3. Why is there a five in there? Plus five uh, lightning damage. Are you sure that's all in there? Yeah. It's two to eight plus eight, and then plus five, and then plus three to my radiant damage. It's true. Okay. All right. I get to you. Brandon, when I hit, I hit. Leave me alone. That's like a lot of damage. Come on, Captain. You're helping increase our damage output because I use Awakened Wrath on Reeve. What does that do? You get to make a melee basic attack against every target adjacent to you, and then you get a shift one for every target you hit. Snap. Everyone okay. froze. Okay. Um. So I get to hit this thing once, and then shift one? Yes. 
25. Miss. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> you tried, kid. You tried. I'm sorry. I got pretty solid accuracy, oh, too. Oh, sorry. This is, uh... This is still the fucking Shoggoth's turn. Um, Alright, so... He, he used his move, he used his minor, he used his standard. Uh, Reeve, it's your turn. Take five psychic damage. I'm going to uh, take my psychic damage, I guess. Um... Oh, he tried to escape my grab, right? Yeah. Oh, he took... Um... How much damage is this? Sorry, one second. My dex mod, I believe it is. So... Where's my dex mod? There we go. Uh, so he takes four damage for not escaping my grab. Nickel and diamond him. That's my new level 11 thing that used to be lower that's not lower now. But Okay, so now I'm all atrophy all about that. Because I'm going to go ahead and sustain my grab. Boom, 18 damage. <laughs> Nap, it's 2d8 now because you're level 11? Yeah. Sweet. My nice. blood drain went up like three times what it was before also, but I'm not going to ever use it, so that's... <laughs> and um, I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, that'll be it. That'll be it. Blood... I also don't mark him with that. But... Okay. Uh, blood begins to cascade yes. from the Shoggoth. Um, it looks like it's mutating again. Amran, it's your turn. Oh, I'm going to try to move these guys away from them a little bit. Just a little bit. I'm going to do my saving. I did not. Okay. Uh, oh, while he's mutating, can I do a quick, uh, I guess, arcana check to see if we we hit hit it quick enough, if it will not mutate? You, you, uh, you can do a check on it, and I will tell you how much you know. Okay, yep, yep. Does it get a mega evolution? That's. <laughs> it's not holy. We mega see a mega stone, stone anywhere. No mega stone. Um, its body is splitting down the middle as if it is separating into two separate organisms. Uh oh, it's a primal evolution. Uh, I let it's, everybody know that. It's Kangaskhan, dude. It's Mega Kangaskhan. Oh no. Um, okay, uh, Amran, anything else? Magic weapon on this guy, let's see if I hit! 29. <laughs> you fling your, uh, your fucking rubber band effortless, effortlessly, and it pops the shogling. Yay! Good job. See, that, one, that one hit because it was a... That, that one was a weapon attack, right? On the, on the keywords? Yeah, yeah, but it's like plus 17. She should be at like plus 15 is what I'm well, saying. Well, one of the things I was looking at when I was doing Artificer is you really just want to pick either either just doing all weapon damage or all implement damage. It should be... I think it's not giving her her bonus, though. Her, I, that's that's the, very likely because yeah. it doesn't give me my brawler bonus on the on the builder either. Yeah, well, we'll get to the bottom of it. Anyway, uh, Buckthorn, it's your turn. Uh, you take five psychic damage. Are you bloodied? Yeah. Okay, thank you. And I'm gonna use I second one. That thing called Amulet of False Life. That doesn't sound like healthy things. <laughs> and I'm going to gain 19 temporary hit points. Very nice. And then I'm going to use I inspiring word on myself. Buckthorn is inspired by his own confidence. <laughs> <laughs> you can do it. You can do it. You can do it. I know I can. I think I can. I think I can. All right. Make sure you're marking down your healing surges, Buckthorn. <laughs> okay. What was that your standard? No, it's a minor. And then for my standard, I'm going to use Steel Jaws. Wow, that's not even dragon fear. And that is crazy high accuracy. Oh, All is right. this your is this your shield attack? That's my paragon attack. Yeah. Oh, do you snap him with both <laughs> shields like a bunch yeah. of claws? Or like a like a fang? Yeah. Not quite. Yeah, sure he does. It's like a turtle's mouth. I'm attacking the big guy. And then Yeah, that's fucking yeah, I think you got him there, Chief. Chief. And then the little guy. 
I think you got him. So I'm going to do... Wow. Oh, wait, sorry, hold on. That's actually against reflex. Does it still hit? Uh, yeah. <laughs> still got him there, Chief. I think you hit him if you still order, if you order two, you still hit him. So I do that much damage to the first guy and that much damage to the second guy. Snap. I well, assume that other guy is dead. Yes, he is hella dead. All right. Well, um, the first guy, I guess, since he's alive, is also dazed. Snap. And. I can slide him. Do you guys want me to slide him? I'd rather you not. All right, I won't slide him. Okay. Uh, it's the little shoglings. You notice, Amran, that they are getting a little bit too acclimated to the light for your taste. Mm-hmm. Or are you adding in combat advantage when we're meleeing these this guy because he's prone? What do you oh, mean? Man, I should have. He's I prone. We we get the the. Yeah, it's, that's on you guys. I don't remember that shit. I should okay, have well, in my combat. I'll make sure everybody remembers in melee when he's prone, you guys are getting plus two to your rolls. So. And remember, Amran, since he's prone, you're going to get minus two. That's true. Oh, uh, Buckthorn is the DM's helper. I love him. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's about to not be prone, actually. Um, Quinn, it's your turn. Okay. He's just I'm helping gonna... us simulate real life. Ah. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna hit him with my dancing cobra. So a dancing first. cobra comes a out of pot. Hit. <laughs> you have to unzip him first. And it's not... Exactly. Um, 27 versus reflex. That is a hit, sir. All right. So it does 1d10 plus my plus five plus. Oh, and since I got an opportunity to attack during this past turn, it gets an extra plus one. Stats. Nice. And a plus two because it's prone, right? A pro plus two to hit, not not damage. Oh, okay. Well, I didn't. Well, either way. Oh, well, in that case. What was the what was the D twenty roll for Buckthorn? Saving throw. Oh yeah, you're good. Thank you. Thirteen damage. All right. Plus for my flurry of blows, it takes uh, another six. six. Cool. Flurry of blows, and then. Uh, saving throw. Nope. Seven. Damn. All right. Um, oh, I'll take that five. Got to take five. All right. Uh, Vod, it's your turn. Um, I'm gonna take five damage first off. Uh. Reeve is gonna burp. <laughs> that was it. That was in character. Uh, yeah, of course. I'm gonna look over at this one and give him a tantalizing. Uh, Dark just beckoning. Give, just give him a little nip slip there. Oh, fail. I Dude. mean, are you? Are <laughs> yeah. you really? I think I have one. We've had an action point going into this dungeon, right? Yeah, dude. You, you have like. You have like extra too. You're you're yeah, you've got two. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll use one. I don't. I don't want to roll a one. That's a lot better than a one. That's a lot. <laughs> You go into the, you go into a mental battle with this tiny single celled organism. <laughs> has no intelligence whatsoever and eventually somehow prevail. Um, but I want to live. No, I'd rather you die. Okay. <laughs> uh, it pops. It pops like a burrito in the microwave. Uh, I, I, I just want to point out that the guy with mind powers is the one that assumes that everything's a lion and talks to goats. It's true. I mean, that's it's it's how he sees the world with his special mind. Um. Vod, anything else? Uh, nah. Saving throw? Oh, yeah. Actually, that, that's yeah. that's a great idea. Why did I forget <laughs> that? Well, through lion-colored lenses. Nah. Oh, yeah, about that. <laughs> All right. That's fine. Oh, I got Hold on, I got to... I just imagine Vod has like his phone out and he's like videotaping everything. He's got an app that just places lion faces over everyone. <laughs> <laughs> I got to i got to compose myself here because I have to explain stuff. He's holding it widescreen, by the way, not just the normal way you hold it, which is terrible. All right. Uh, yes, yeah, so you can get more face.